Good evening. As you know, and heard at first hand this evening, Jeremy Bowen is an experienced correspondent who has covered many conflicts between individuals, religious groups, and states, jostling for social, military, political, and economic power. He has interviewed dictators, fanatics, and fundamentalists, and as well as the ordinary citizens caught up in their midst and trying to bring an intelligent and informative angle to report these events. That requires a lot of time-consuming homework and preparation to ensure real value from each interview and report. Covering hostilities in over 70 countries, trying to understand the most complex issues in trouble spots around the world, certainly would have highlighted the importance of geography and its influence on events ancient and modern. As a journalist, he has a vast knowledge and experience of the Middle East. From 1995 to 2000, he was based in Jerusalem as the BBC's Middle East correspondent, winning awards from television festivals in New York and Monte Carlo, as well as the Royal Television Society. During the Kosovo crisis of 1999, he reported extensively from the region, often in dangerous conditions, which included being robbed at gunpoint by bandits, whilst reporting from the Albanian border. Since June 2005, he has been the BBC Middle East editor, covering the extraordinary events of the last years across the region. Through his contribution to geographical knowledge, he has built a reputation as one of the clearest, calmest, and most intelligent commentators in what are often sensitive and highly charged issues. He is one of the BBC's most trusted and highly regarded global correspondents. The Society's Mungo Park Medal has been awarded since 1930 for an outstanding contribution to geographical knowledge through exploration or adventure in potentially hazardous physical or social environments. Recipients include many of the world's leading adventurers, explorers, academics, educationalists, and journalists, such as Tor Heyerdahl, Kate Aidy, Karen Drake, Tim Butcher, Lindsay Hilson, and Wade Davis, amongst many others. I'm sure you will agree that Jeremy's important contribution over the past decades more than fits with this ideal. I'm sorry we have not been able to meet and hear from him in person, but I am pleased as Vice President of the Royal Scottish Geographical Society to invite tonight's speaker, Jeremy Bowen, to join that illustrious list and to present him with this year's Mungo Park Medal. Congratulations. When Jeremy Bowen was a news trainee at the BBC in the early 80s, he had a bright red Alfa Romeo, a flamboyant moustache and a very clear sense that nothing was going to hold him back and it's been a pleasure to watch that happen. Some of us pursued tamer avenues of reporting, in my case from the front lines of environmental change and the great thing about that is that nobody tries to shoot at you. Unlike in Jeremy's case, he of course has gone off to the front lines of conflicts and people have definitely been trying to shoot at him. And I think three things stand out about Jeremy's work. The first is he's perfected a look of great nonchalance when on camera explosions are happening around him. 
Second, he brings to his work a great insight into the geopolitics of any situation he finds himself in. And third, and I think most important, and as with the accounts of famous explorers through the ages that we all adore, he brings to his reporting a profound sense of humanity, a wonderful, warm connection with the people that he encounters. So for all of that, well done, Jeremy, and many congratulations. Jeremy Bowen, congratulations on being given this most prestigious of awards. I know from talking to you just how much it means to you to be getting it. We have been great, great friends now for what, 20 years since those days when you joined me on the sofa for breakfast news. You didn't enjoy the early starts too much though, did you? 3 a.m. in the morning was not your forte, but we had a couple of years of great fun working together. Um, uh, before you went off to do what you do best out there in the field, what you're so brilliant at. Um, the thing that impresses me so much about you is that nowadays when we go and meet up for a cup of coffee, go and have a walk, go and have a chat, people come up to you all the time. And the reason they come up to you is because they want to come up and shake your hand and say, they say thank you and tell you how brilliant you are at what you do, what you have done over the years. So congratulations. You really deserve this award and I'm very, very proud of you.